What's going on folks? This is Jagos and a few things are going to be happening on this channel as well as a few things are going to be happening with what's going to be coming down. But first, I wanted to sit here and vent about the Gamergate issue. And this is just an off the cuff rant. It's just kind of sitting here and posting my frustrations with what has been going on. Particularly as more people on Twitter and Reddit and all the chans they've been sitting here and focusing on gamergate against feminism which i have to sit here and i have to really question because the fact of the matter is i think feminists have been duped into thinking that gamers are the worst people since isis instead of sitting here and thinking what are some better ways that we could sit here and try to educate some of these people about the bad crap that's going on in journalism this is pretty much what's been going on and like the big people such as milo of course he doesn't like feminism so he sits here and speaks from a conservative position you have people like mercedes carrera who for all intents and purposes she is more libertarian viewing um and with that libertarian viewpoint it's all about the feminism when everything started with gamergate about Nathan Grayson now you don't have a lot of people talking about that except maybe QQ and overall the people that sit here and say well bad journalism gives rise to ideological opponents such as the social justice warriors more people are falling into this idea that all of this has to do with hyper masculinity or some other crazy crap look Women and men have been enjoying video games for decades now. That has been, there has been no issue with that whatsoever. The fact of the matter is, the feminists just happen to be the newest ideological group that's coming in to try to sit here and quote unquote take away the games. We've sat here and dealt with these issues in the past. I mean, if you look at tabletop RPG, dump. Dungeons and Dragons, way back in the day, had evangelicals against it. Then, after that, we had conservative bigots like Jack Thompson. Now, I'm not as critical of Jack Thompson nowadays because he lost a lot of power when he could sit here and collude with, you know, judges and things and try to sit here and take on the publishers. Of course, publishers fought back, and that's the main people that fought him. But in st right now, the main difference is... The social justice warriors have been told to punch down and gamers are the ones that are feeling the brunt of what publishers have had to deal with and they have those big lawyers to go against. With more people going into the YouTubes and everything like that, you have now a kind of culture war that's going on. Where is gaming going to go? And when I do my diagnosis of the gaming industry, I'm going to go into that more. Because to me, someone like Anita Sarkeesian, what she did was she essentially created and instilled in gamers this really negative um, look uh, outlook of them, and that sat here and permeated all through the all through the media. Now, the media, for all intents and purposes, has been crap since day one from Jump Street. It does not represent the interests of gamers, and a lot of people have just forgotten that if you want to hold these people to account, you have to sit here and find better alternatives to them. Someone that's going to sit here and talk about different aspects and issues of the gaming industry, not just escapist, which is, you know, libertarian running and they believe in cultural Marxism through Acheron and all that other nonsense. We're not going to get into that. But the fact of the matter is, you have to have different alternatives that people can go to so they don't have to go to New York Times to sit here and get smeared. I mean, all of this smear, all of this censorship is for a very, very specific reason. It is going to get into the pocketbooks of publishers and marketers. Now, the fact of the matter is, what had happened was that we had collusion and consolidation of the gaming industry. The journalism aspect was very, very close-knit. When it was close-knit, these people, just like any other scandal that's going on right now, such as the LIBOR scandal in um, England, 
These people could sit here and manipulate what gets in and what gets pushed out. People that were doing investigative journalism, like Alistair Pensoff, was pushed out. That is the issue. Real journalists get pushed out of the industry and they get pushed to bad, worse jobs. Or if they're doing something that goes against the interests of the publisher, that's what happens. So when everyone's sitting here talking about, well, it's all about these SJWs and then everyone is quoting these random idiots on Twitter, I mean, you're not going to have a very good discourse about anything that has been going on. And that's what's been going on for Gamergate since damn near its inception. Where have people talked about the fine young capitalists recently? Where have people started talking about the different aspects and issues of the gaming industry just from, you know, a basic level? We're not getting that. You're getting that from someone like Main Event. You're getting someone like Dr. Rectango. You're getting that from people that are outside of the movement and everything else. Now, I've always maintained that I am a gamer, not a gamer gator. Gamer gate is a scandal. It was a scandal about a journalist that was too close to his source. That was the issue. That was what everybody wanted to talk about. Now, an upper trust fund baby, who her name is Zoe Quinn, you know, she, what she basically did was decide, well, I wanted to censor every last discussion of me in my private life, even though nobody was talking about that. Everybody was talking about the journalists that sat here and basically messed up the rules and didn't want to sit here and understand what it means to have journalistic aspect. Now, with all of that said, airplay happened. A lot of people sat here and looked into that and they saw that we had some legitimate concerns and issues. So what has been going on and what has been circling the wagons has been a lot more negativity. So that negativity is coming from the very places that people want to sit here and say, well, we want to hold it account. No one is saying that you really have to hold these places to account. But if you want better games, you can build your own. If you want better sources of news, you can build your own. But supporting and pushing these idiots and constantly having people take their time to read these idiots, that stuff is counterproductive and counterintuitive to actually moving forward with the industry. For example, it took a while for me to sit here and finish the Inafune report because I was dealing with some of this negative work that has been coming out and trying to sit here and hopefully get people to understand that it's not the feminism that's the issue. It is the journalism that puts that feminism in a in a negative aspect because you they're focused it on the sensationalism. They're not focused on what is best for the games industry, which has been the point the entire time. You get a lot of people that are uninformed, then they sit here and magically game drop Gamergate and all of a sudden, everybody is focused on Gamergate as this negative, negative movement. It's a hashtag where people come to converse. The biggest similarity would be the Black Lives Matter movement. And I've seen people sit here and say everything under the sun, positive, negative, ugly, and otherwise about Black Lives Matter. But the fact of the matter is, we've gone through a lot of things. And when you have that... The BLM has had thousands of people be murdered for the color of their skin. And then they're, the people that are, you know, basically doing these murders are getting let off. That is an issue with the society at large. We have a system that basically is destroying people. It doesn't matter if you are, are Jeremy Hammond. It doesn't matter if you're, or who else, Rukia Boyd. You have a lot of guns, you have a lot of people that are very, very fierce in trying to shoot people, even though the violent crime around here is not compatible with what has been going on. There's a lot of things to talk about and discuss with Black Lives Matter, with Gamergate and everything else, but we're never going to get to the issues if people are only focused on like one aspect and then all of a sudden everybody has a hive mind. 
Now, I'm probably going to sit here and continue to focus on it maybe a little bit, but it's not going to be something that I focus on as deeply as I used to because the fact of the matter is the more that I focus on it, the more that I realize that a lot of people are coming to this with a negative aspect and they're just looking to fight feminism. And personally, I could care less about feminism. I am a non-feminist. I look at the movement. I've seen that it's changed Particularly, it's changed from the 60s, it's changed from the 90s, and it's changing now. And a lot of people don't realize the differences of the different types of feminist movements out there. For example, they sit here and say feminism is the worst thing. Well, okay, if you take that to the logical conclusion that it's the worst thing, why is it that one of the biggest people that focus on feminism and says things about feminists and still calls herself a feminist would be um, base mom? I mean, are you saying that she's the worst thing since sliced bread or what? Because that just doesn't make sense. There's different types of feminists, just like there's different types of conservatives, liberals, socialists, communists, anarchists, whatever. The fact of the matter is, if you really don't want to sit here and help make the society better in any way, shape, or form, and you just want to complain about one aspect without, while ignoring every other aspect of the, of the situation... You're really not helping anybody. That's going to be my rant about Gamergate. And for the most part, hopefully, I hopefully I can have some positive news about what's going to be coming down the wheels. But I just wanted to get this one out because it's just really, really frustrating that you're seeing so much potential be wasted as people focus on like the shallow and superficial things instead of anything of substance. Take care. See you next time.